That will bring us to Ron Caps taking on Cruz Pedregon. Cruz, who won his 900th round of racing, 901, will come against the blue and yellow of Ron Caps, a lifelong racer, a fan favorite, and this week's E3 Spark Plugs hot shot. This is Ron Caps, driver of the Napa Auto Parts Dodge Funny Car. I was born in San Luis Obispo, California, and live in Carlsbad, California, with my wife Shelly, our two kids Taylor and Katie. My dad raced when I was a kid, and we've been around drag racing from as far back as I can remember. Getting to work on my dad's car as a kid, and then Alan and Blaine Johnson's alcohol dragster, Jim Rizzoli's car, Daryl Hitchman's car, and then my big break came in John Mitchell's Montana Express top alcohol dragster. I drove it, but I also worked on it and drove the rig, and then my first break with the top fuel dragster was Roger Prim, which I also helped drive the 18-wheeler and worked on as a crew guy. One thing about working on these things all my life and getting a chance to be a driver is I know where the hard work is done. I know who makes it happen. And I was lucky enough to go through that, and I believe it made me a better driver and a better person. Well, growing up, all my heroes were in drag racing, but one cool thing is my job has allowed me to meet my heroes in rock and roll, and I've gotten to meet so many of my favorite guys and actually have them out to the drag race, which in turn I get to take my crew guys and stand on the side of the stage and watch some of the best guys in music. My favorite part is this kid had a dream to be a race car driver. And this grown up kid gets to wake up every morning and live that dream. Remember, it's Cruz Pedregon that was saying seek and destroy today. We just saw Ron Caps with Metallica's lead singer, James Henfield. Good race. Great race. Ron Caps has done his own seeking and destroying. Yeah, you look at crew chief Ron Tobler there saying uh, that was a nice job because, like I said, the conditions getting through the middle of the racetrack is tough. Both these cars did a great job. Ron Caps had the advantage off the starting line a little bit better. Take a look at the Lucas Oil photo finish cam by about half a car length. Ron Caps advances. And as Ron Caps rolls to a stop right behind John Force, we'll see them in the semifinals. John, you bang the blower on that pass right there? Right in the lights, it's my fault. Every time I race that Hagen, he keeps flexing the muscles at me, and I drive it because I don't want to get off the gas and have him and, and be at the wrong spot. Stupid, cost me money. Thank God we build those things. Uh, we'll put another one on it. Uh, superchargers are big up here on the hill. And uh, hell, I just thought Robert and the Auto Club Ford lost, and I'm bummed that I look around and see these two come around the corner. Uh, hey, I know what to say. Hagen's a great guy, and I'm winning some rounds up here on the hill. Let's see what we can do. Thank you, John. Big Jim Dunn would have made me pay for that blower yeah. explosion because if you drive it past the finish line, it's on you, kid. If it blows up before the finish line, I'll pick it up.